Hey there friends, I hope that you are having a great day. A lot of you had asked about how I made the travel journal that I took to Italy. You guys might recall this was made from a gift bag and I'll show you kind of, I mean that's, this is what the gift bag looked like. Um, so I thought I would just kind of quickly go through this uh, and just let you know how I did it and how I made my tuck spots and that sort of thing. And then I want to point you to, um, to um, my Serenity Crafts because that's where I got the idea from the, for the craft pocket that I used in here. So we can see that right here. I really love these craft pockets and I learned to make these when I was making Midori Traveler's notebook books and, and also the inserts. But I did tell you guys that I did not get a lot of time to work in this journal. I got um, a Sunday done in Atlanta and a Monday done um, as we traveled and I think this is Tuesday. Um, and then by Wednesday, this was Murano, Burano, and Torcella, and by that time, we were just, we were like going so fast that there was literally no time to journal. But I got to tell you that my little travel journal worked out great because it became a repository, you know, for all kinds of brochures and pamphlets and, um, you know, small newspaper-ish kind of things that I found, uh, business cards, and business cards in Italy are absolute works of art. Um, it's like I've said many times over the past week, uh, Italy is full of all kinds of beauty, and it even is like the business cards are pretty remarkable because I, I got a card from a restaurant and it was printed on a hundred and thirty pound watercolor paper. You know, when, when you know, you guys know what I'm talking about. It was like, who prints on 130 pound beautiful watercolor paper? Says? I, I don't know what to tell you, but they, they do things very differently over there. All right, the first thing that we're going to do with this bag, and this is a bag from the Hard Rock Cafe. And I'll tell you a funny story about the Hard Rock Cafe. Um, my brother-in-law and I really do like museums. My sister, not so much. So by the time that, um, that she had toured the Doji's Palace in, in uh, Venice, she was done. And she'll tell you she's done. She'll say, I'm done. I cannot look at another statue or another painting or anything like that. I'm done. I'm done. And we'll go, okay. It, okay. I mean, what do you say? Um, she said, I'm going to go downstairs and I'm going to sit in St. Mark's Square and I'm going to people watch. So we said, okay. And um, when Dave and I get in a museum, it's kind of like go, go, go. And we like to read things and we like to look at stuff. And we might look at the same thing over and over, you know. And um, I was all about seeing the, you know, the, the famous paintings and famous statues and, you know, absorbing the history and my sister not so much but that's okay because lots of people really don't like museums and they don't like that kind of thing so anyway we get out of the museum and um, it's been three hours that we were in the museum sorry guys you can this is really hard gosh I've never run across them <laughs> those are very sturdy <laughs> can't find my sister. Uh, so we just kind of hang around and finally she shows up and she's, um, you know, she said, well, did you have a good time? And it was like, yeah, but we're starving. She said, oh, well, what would you like to eat? And, and I think it was Dave said, well, let's just go to the Hard Rock because I'd really like to have a hamburger instead of, you know, the usual pasta and pizza that, that you, you're, offered a lot <laughs> when you're in Venice. So we go in the Hard Rock and 
Keely pulls me aside as we're walking there and she said, I've been sitting in the hard rock while you guys were at the museum and I've been eating chicken wings and drinking beer. And I was like, oh my gosh. And now we're walking right back in the hard rock where you've been hanging out for the past three hours while we were in the museum. And Dave doesn't know. She just tells me, don't tell Dave. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so we walk in the hard rock, y'all. And wouldn't you know it, we got the same uh, server that my sister had had during her three hours sit in the hard rock, feel like an American, watch videos uh, of, of rock and roll bands on TV. So it was pretty funny. Uh, Dave sits down at the table. I sit down at the table. Keely sits down at the table and the server looks at Keely and goes, well, my goodness, didn't you just leave? And then Dave goes, I cannot believe you sat in here when, you know, you could be looking at these masterpieces. And Keely was like, yep, I was looking at a masterpiece. I was looking at David Lee Roth and Ben Halen. That's what I was doing. Anyway, it was funny. So that's where this um, bag came from. I got to tell you, though, when you go to the Hard Rock in a foreign country, it's like, it's like a breath of fresh air. You know, it's your videos, it's hamburgers, it's mac and cheese, it's that kind of thing. So anyway, we found the hard rock very refreshing, uh, especially in Venice. So, uh, <laughs> that was a funny story. Uh, the first thing that you're going to want to do, you guys, and you saw me struggling with this, is to take off the... Um, take off the actual handles you know that that are on the on the gift bag next thing that we're going to do and this is a little tricky so i hope i can do it on camera is we're going to reinforce this part of the bag because this is the part um you know that kind of needs a little bit of sturdy in here so we're going to just do this really simply um i'm using some um some packing tape, um, pattern packing tape that someone sent me, and I, I kind of love it because, you know, I do like my circles and dots. So we're going to take off a piece of this, and we're going to put it right here. And that kind of covers up the, um, the place where you, the, the um, handles of the bag were. All right, and we're going to do the same thing here. This is really, I knocked that little thing up in no time flat, uh, the travel journal that I took with me, because I was really, really severely running out of time to get anything done. Um, so I'm kind of doing the same thing here. Um, oh, my tape just kind of Let's see if I can't cut that. And my my scissors are sticky as well. Hold on. Let me see if I can get it. Hey, collar hold please. I almost got it. Hold on. Hold on. Yay! <laughs> It's kind of late in the day, and I've had a really, really, really busy, busy Sunday. All right, so we've kind of just covered up these two things. Another uh, really cool thing that this little little bit of reinforcement does inside your bag is it gives you a nice place to go ahead and um, punch a couple of holes and do your closure, which is, you know, pretty simple. I was trying to see what sort of, mm, I think I used an eighth, but I'm not sure. Um, and I'm still learning to use this crocodile thing, y'all. It's, it's super cool, but I'm still a, a bit of a, a novice with it. Okay, so, you know, and if you don't have this, I mean, how long have I been crafting and I got along just fine without one? But they are super fun to have. Um, so we're going to punch... Sorry. There we go. I had it locked. 
I'm going to just punch a couple holes. Punch one here and here. I know right now that I punched those too close. So, and I think that they are not big enough. They aren't big enough. And I punched them too close. So we're going to flip this over and we're going to use our 3 16 And we're just going to punch a couple more. Let's see where I did it on this one. Okay. I know what I did, y'all. Hang on, hang on. This also needs reinforcing on this side. We're kind of just playing along here. I'm looking at the one I did and hoping to get this one halfway right. Um, okay. All right. So, and then, like I said, I did this one, I did the one I took really, really, really fast. And I don't even remember how I did it because, of course, that was at the beginning of April. Well, not at the beginning of April, mid-April. So let's slice off more tape and reinforce this. Thanks for bearing with me all. Alright, so we've got, so here's our bag. Here's the, the bottom of the bag, top of the bag. Reinforce here, reinforce inside, reinforce inside, reinforce here. Alright, now we're ready to, um, to go ahead and punch our holes and make our closure. There's one hole. There's another hole. And the reason that the, the packing tape works so well is because, uh, you know, when you close this thing and it gets, you know, it's going to get chunky. And when it gets chunky, then that's when you're really, you know, you really need your reinforcements going on here. I don't think that's big enough. And... I don't really have a color that's going to match, so let's just go with some green. That will be fine. And I did the holes kind of far apart as well. As usual, you know, this has no real rhyme or reason to it. Um, I'm not measuring anything because that makes me nuts. Okay, so there we go. We've got our closure this side and this side. And then we'll go ahead and give this a tie. You don't want to put a lot of pressure on this, okay? So just be sure you're kind of lifting your strings up and tying, right? Just like that. And you can see, I mean, it, it takes a pretty, you know, it's, it really makes it strong. That packing tape really uh, does reinforce the, uh, the gift bag there. Okay, the next thing that we want to do is we want to... Um, I'm not quite ready to do the, the closure. And I can see that I reinforced that as well. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to work on this side of the bag. I created a tuck spot by simply putting down a little bit of packing tape. Kind of just like running it along the edge here. And that created a tuck spot for pins up here. So you can have a little tuck spot. So we're going to cut this off down at the bottom. And I'm sure that you guys can come up with, I mean, I'll, this is like, just like a template, you know. You guys can do a much better job than me, I'm sure. Alright, so that gave us this tiny, weird little pocket right here. Can you see that? It's just like this odd little pocket. Now that is not a tuck spot. This is the actual tuck spot right here. And it was a great place to put pins. Alright, now we've got to secure the bottom portion of this right here. 
So we'll take some more tape. I really wish I had my scissors weren't so gunked up. I need to take them down and give them a good cleaning. They work hard. <laughs> okay. So let's cut this off right here. Jesus is really sticky, y'all. I'm, I'm sorry. I wasn't very well prepared. All right, there we go. And flip this over and kind of just secure it right there. And there we go. Um, all right, so this is what you got so far, and this is what it will look like on the front. So you can see your tape right here, and you can see where you've run your packing tape right here and you know it's made this handy dandy little that's a problem you know it sometimes comes apart right there um, but there's a little tuck spot right there for pins now to add paper and you know to do that adding the paper was was um <laughs> I ran downstairs and I noticed that I had some inky paper downstairs and I was like yeah that'll do and I grabbed it and ran back upstairs and and started using my inky paper but this time and this is how I measured it there was really no no big whoop as to um, as to how I measured it and some of the pages were um, some of the pages were even and some were not even and some were choppy it at that point it just did not matter to me I needed something that was functional that was packable that was going to um, you know that was kind of going to last so what I'm doing here is I've just grabbed a chunk of my desk paper and this was from a I have been using this paper for years it was a huge pad of um, you know the kind of paper that um, um, remember in in the years before there was uh, before there was PowerPoint you know you used to write on a white a white a white uh, like a, a flip chart flip chart there we go flip chart that's it so my friend who does recycling she has a recycling business called me and she was like hey I got a lot of white paper it's a flip chart do you want it and when I got down there there were like three of them and I was like yeah that is super cool so I just grabbed some and that I mean that flip chart has been my desk paper for years and years so we're gonna cut this I am cutting it a little bit smaller right there because I'm, I'm a little concerned that it might be too too big and I'm gonna do the same thing with another chunk of paper but I'm gonna check this one first make sure it'll fit in there and that looks just fine it's you know it's it's very rough y'all so don't I mean if I'm positive you can make something that looks a whole lot nicer than this but this will at least give you kind of something to go by and uh, so you can see that this is desk paper that I've used and unused desk paper as well so I'm gonna grab another chunk of it and just draw this I hope you guys can see okay I've got both lights on but it it is getting a little bit late in the day okay let me just roughly cut this same thing here I'll stick this under the old cutter and I should have grabbed my old cutting blade but 
I'm still using my new blade because uh, even though it says 4-1, it's, um, it's still basically new because that I, I was away for you know two weeks. Um, so basically it is still a new blade. But some of this paper has molding paste on it. So I really should have grabbed my old blade that Miss Leanne suggested we use an old blade to cut cut through molding pa paste and things like that. And I can feel that molding paste on on this uh, on this paper. All right, I think we're done with the paper cutter. We'll put that down here, and we've got our. Um, We've got our paper to go in our travel journal. And all I did here, y'all, I mean, it was really easy. Um, I used a gift, a gift thing. Um, I don't know what these are called, but that's what I used. So I'm going to untie it and just lash in the signature. And now that I'm sitting here doing this, I'm thinking what a good, what a fun gift this would be for my mama. Um, you know, so I'm, I'm, I want to, I wanted to write a travel log for my mom and I'm working on that and I'll probably turn that into an ebook about our travels. But this is the first time we've been on a major vacation trip that my mama has not been able to go so you know we sure did miss her the entire time that we were traveling but in her words <laughs> if I go to Italy with y'all you'll have to bury me there <laughs> which is funny and sad at the same time she's like mm, yeah not doing that um but we, we sure did miss her a whole lot. And she loves to hear to hear about our adventures. Okay, so there you go, guys. You've got your signature in here now. And um, you can leave that little tie on the outside or the inside, whatever you want to do. Let's work on our closure. Um, again, this is going to have to be reinforced. Now, I'm really liking the, the cover of the book. So I don't want to put tape here. But I am going to put tape inside. Oh, Lord. Here we go again with the scissors. Come on, scissors. You can do it. Come on. Let's root for the scissors. Poor scissors. They're probably thinking, oh, my God, please take me downstairs and clean me now. Reinforce this right here. And go ahead and punch a hole. Now this time I'm not going to go for 3 sixteenths. I'm going to go for that 1 eighth. Because this needs to be a little tinier. So it can hold my brad. And my brad is in number 6 or number 9. I'm not sure which is. Which it is. One or the other. And then, so I would not, like, accidentally stab myself on my brad, I did one more little piece of tape right here. This thing came in and out of my book bag every night because even though I did not journal, I wrote what we did each day. And I would stick that piece of notebook paper inside the journal. So I know what we did every day and the adventures we had and where we went and where we ate and that sort of thing. So there we go. All right. So we have our travel journal um, made out of a gift bag. We've done our closure, which is right here. Now... Leave your closure fairly loose. Um, 
you know this closure and I don't know if I've ever told you guys this before but it it can come completely you know off of course I mean it's just a, a piece of stretchy string and it's tied a couple times but you can take it completely out and make it longer or shorter now for right now let's just make it a little bit shorter and then that way we can kind of put our closure together with our brad you can kind of see see how nice it looks and there we go I've got an extra piece of string there so see I mean it's coming together and it looks really super cool when you start putting stuff in it it really I mean, it kind of expands and I've taken things out of this one so you can see that it's still expanding the next thing that I did is I added this craft folder. Uh, My Serenity Crafts, I will point you to this great uh, template that she has over at her, at her My Serenity Crafts YouTube channel. So that looks like this. And then the next thing I did was I put in an expandable pocket. Now, my friend Leanne uh, taught me how to make an expandable pocket. And it's one of the niftiest, coolest things in the whole wide world. And I want to make more of them. I just think they're really, really neat. Um, and I'll point you to Leanne's video so you can check that out as well. The craft pocket starts out as a piece of paper. And you Fold, now Leanne said fold a whole inch in, but I didn't have enough to do that. I should have started with a bigger piece of paper for my pocket, but I didn't. I'm still a novice pocket maker. Um, so we're going to, you fold it in, and then you fold it like this. So that's what your paper looks like. You fold it in, and then you fold it like this. Do the same thing at the bottom. Fold it in, and fold it back. And then what happens is when you glue this down, you've got a pocket that expands. I thought that I had some skinny double-sided tape, but I don't. Um, so I'm just going to glue this in really quick. It's not going to draw, but you can... And kind of see how it works and it is so cool <laughs> I love it okay now while that while that's drying a minute I'll show you this one um, so expandable pocket right here and that gave me the opportunity to put in a whole bunch of stuff because these pockets are phenomenal they are just super cool uh, like I said I will point you to Leanne's tutorial she explains it a whole lot better than I do. Uh, this became a really good place to keep receipts. And, you know, I come back from the end of the day and just stick my receipts right here. And that worked really, really perfectly. I'm trying to think if there was anything else that I did um, for this. And I really, I can't think of anything else, you guys. Um gift bag reinforce it here here remember to do both sides inside and outside of the top of the paper bag punch a couple holes in it run some stretchy string through um, remember that you're making a little tuck pocket right here okay so you put the uh, put some uh, packing tape here packing tape here to close this hole for that little tiny tuck spot that you've created up here and remember to reinforce the inside of the place where you're going to put your brad for your closure uh, the paper is really simple just one insert and that's it for this one I did I did do um, I 
I made envelopes. I just put some envelopes in here. I did not make envelopes. These are just plain envelopes. And then that gave me a little tuck spot for uh, business cards. This is a map. Um, this is, oh, it's a little piece of the napkin that did that Delta. We were on Delta Airlines. And I love that thing. It says, keep climbing. And I was like, yeah, that's it. I'm just going to keep climbing. <laughs> it's really amazing. And we kept climbing stairs, y'all. Ah, their elevators are about the size of a, of a phone booth. Um, I mean, an, a I am serious, guys. The elevators are about the size of a phone booth, and um, you are going to climb stairs until you think you cannot climb any more stairs. Um, so just be prepared for the stair climbing as well. So there we go, guys. It, it was really simple. Oh, I forgot to tell you about this. I wanted to, a way to add some color to my pages, even though I was using painty papers here, but I wanted a way to add colors. And so I just put some, um, some Neo Color 2 uh, crayons in here along with some Q-tips. And then that way, the only thing that I needed to make some color was actual water. And all I did here was uh, just put a brad at the top and use just a little plastic bag to put my, um, my Neo Color 2s and a small pencil and some Q-tips as well. So there we go, guys. I hope that if you are going somewhere that you will try this little travel journal. I tell you folks, it's really, it's a super cool idea for even like a, you know, a day trip and you might want to write or draw in it. Um, it's a great place.